surreal. Tell me what's going through your mind. Uh, I, it's just so crazy. And um, yeah, it, it's just been, uh, blah, it's amazing. The most amazing thing was getting to see Ben Justin win and then getting to see Ben in the cast do waving through a window. And it's just felt like from that moment on, I was just really thrilled. And I kind of was, I was hoping I'd win, but I was, it was already felt like I'd won. And yeah, so it's just amazing. Because I asked them the same thing. Do you hear your name? Do you actually hear your name? Did you turn to your wife? Did you like, should I go up? I, you know what? I honestly don't know what happened. I hope, I, well, I kind of don't hope it's on film, but I, I have no idea what I did, I was with, I was like I wonder what I'll do if they name and or if they don't name and then I have no idea. So yes. So what was the float up to the stage like? Again, I really don't remember. I was at at the beginning of the show. I was like, oh, I wonder. That seems like it would be tricky to go up those stairs. And now I have no idea how I got there. So I got there. Um, what a show you worked on. I mean, Benj and Justin are right next to you here. I mean, you you started this collaboration on this musical. No one knew what it was going to be. It was this incredible journey. Yeah, it, it's remarkable. And the and the fact that yeah, we, when we started, it was such an insane idea for a musical, and uh, we didn't even know that it would be a musical. And and so, I, to get to win with them is like the best. What a journey you've been on. I mean, they even said they never knew that this would ever come to Broadway. It was just this musical you guys worked on that you just wanted to get produced. Yes, no, absolutely. We thought this was, um, we had no idea what we were doing. Um, and I, I think that's a vote of confidence for not knowing what you're doing. Uh, because we just, you know, we, we just believed in it and we loved the story and we just kind of kept going. And we had a lot of people that pushed us to keep going. Um, and so, yeah, we got here. I have no idea how. <laughs> I'd love it to thank your parents. You were five yeah. years old and yeah. came to see Starlight Express. Yeah, the Kennedy Center. Yeah. The national tour. Um, so, yes, that was a big... This is the world I want to live in? I, I pretty much, I loved that show. I mean, I didn't really know that they were in roller skates. I think I just thought that's how people moved on stage. Um, I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Did you ever want to, like, s sing on stage? Yes. Oh, well, I was an actor, like, in high school and college. But then, you know, now I'm very happy not to be doing that. I see everybody on stage, and I'm like... <laughs> Good luck. Uh, yeah. Is there anybody you forgot to thank that you'd like to thank at Broadway World? Is there a mentor? Is there somebody in that in that wonderful speech of yours? Oh, you know, I, I would love to thank. I totally forgot to thank um, Danny Mefford, our choreographer, who is incredible. Um, Adrian Campbell Holt, our associate director. Um, and, you know, I should thank by name Judy Schoenfeld, our stage manager, who's incredible and has been with the show from the beginning. Okay. Hold yes. this up. I want you to spin it and just tell me what comes to mind. Oh my God, <laughs> that's really good. Where's it gonna live? I don't know. Uh, I, I really don't know. I have to put it somewhere so that my daughter doesn't get to it. It's really the main the main issue. It's not a toy. Yes, and it's heavy. This could really hurt. Um, so yes, that's the big idea. Thank you.